Till that due to industry influence, Missouri has some of the loosest alcohol laws in the U.S. Hard liquor can be sold in grocery stores and gas stations bars can double as liquor stores public intoxication is legal and open containers are allowed in most areas, including by passengers and vehicles. That's what makes me so frustrated about the recent pushes with restricting rights reproductive and LGBT in Missouri. It's historically been a low-key libertarian beacon to the region. When I moved here from Oklahoma 25 years ago, it was mind-blowing that I had access if I desired to all the above, plus real beer, tattoos, lottery, porn shops, year-round fireworks, etc. Then we were ahead of the curve on both constitutional carry for better or worse and legal weed. Shame we have such a bad reputation from some of our political and social misfires. I had to travel to St. Louis for work once traveling consultant and one night the team took me out to a Cardinals game. On the way there a guy in the back pulls out a case of Bud Light from the back, cracks one open and hands it to me. I must have looked at him like he had seven heads so he goes you know, it's cheaper than it would be in the stadium so pound a couple now. Eventually it was explained to me that we can as passengers drink and then also be walking around outside the stadium drinking. Wild town man, and their pizza sucks. Yeah, every state is different. In VA where I lived previously, you could buy beer and wine in grocery stores, gas stations, etc., but had to go to a state-run liquor or ABC store to buy spirits. Where I currently live in MD you have to go to a county licensed liquor store for anything containing alcohol, no beer or wine in grocery or convenience stores at all, and MD is even odder than most states as the laws pertaining to alcohol sales are not statewide and vary by county. I've always heard that Wisconsin has really loose alcohol laws for a similar reason, Wisconsin has a really high number of bars per capita, and they have a powerful advocacy group called the Wisconsin Tavern League or something. I think they are why for years Wisconsin actually treated a first offense DUI as a traffic violation not a criminal violation I don't think that has been the case since the early 1990s, but it was a major outlier at the time. Open container is legal in Texas too. I drove for Uber in Ohio and had some people from Texas think they could drink in my car. It's legal in Texas well, I could get in a shit ton of trouble for that in Ohio. So I'm gonna start the ride now and either wait for you to finish drinking it, or you gotta pour it out. And that case of beer is going in the trunk. They were cool about it though lol. So what if the passenger has an open drink? It is pretty obvious to any cop if the driver had any, and they can use a breathalyzer. I see the argument that a drunk passenger could distract the driver and cause a hazard. But not all distracting passengers are drinking, and not all drinking passengers are distracting the driver. Punish the crime itself, not associated behaviors. PA had archaic blue laws for the longest time. When they decided to change their laws they went off the deep end, allowing and promoting drinking in gas stations and grocery stores. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Sell alcohol in those establishments, yes, but why would you make it a legal pit stop when you know people have to drive to leave? In one of the Jacks films Johnny Knoxville wears prosthetics who looks like an old man. He disappeared drinking with a 12 year old kid who was pretending to be his grandson. This was filmed in California. A guy approaches them in a friendly manner saying they must be from another state because they don't know you can't do that in California. Related this is also why Disneyland isn't in Missouri. Augie Bush refused to sign off on the zoning unless Disney served alcohol beer in particular at their theme park. Walt basically told Bush to get bent and put his park in California instead. To this day, you can't buy alcohol within Disneyland except at the new Galaxy's Edge area. I lived in St. Louis for one year and met two people who died in separate DUIs that same year. The first one got so fucked up that he went the wrong way down a highway entrance and into oncoming traffic. The second one was walking home and got hit by a drunk driver going 75 miles per hour through neighborhood streets and swerved off the road. Gasps won't someone think of the children. These are also known as the normal freedoms almost everywhere else in the world. I much prefer getting my beer from the one state sanctioned beer distributor and the fact that I can't buy a bottle of wine at the same place I get my groceries. Having a beer in the park? Forget it. I don't get the open container. Who cares as long as the driver isn't drinking? Driving drunk is already illegal so you're not adding anything to that by not allowing open containers for passengers. Basically if they have open containers but the driver is sober can pass a sobriety test. Then who cares? Going to Utah for the first time blew my mind. When I finally did find a place to purchase some beer it was like 3. Also Bible Belt states where you have to go to a specific store and it better not be a Sunday, God forbid. The looks you get when you buy alcohol too. 
America is a weird ass place. Still won't sell alcohol till 9 a.m. on a Sunday though. And the passenger rule is kind of funny. Allowed to have open containers for passengers, but empties still count. Technically the law requires you to dispose of the empty before a passenger can open a new drink. I mean sounds like more freedom to me. Industry influence in NY forces you to go to a liquor store to purchase wine. I saw a liquor business owner complain that it'd be unfair if they allowed wine sales at grocery stores and that it was government interference. Due to industry influence? Is the booze industry spending disproportionate dollar on Missouri for some reason? Or is the state more receptive to their interests for non-lobbying reasons or their other policies substantially more libertarian than their neighbors? This makes so much sense. I was just in Missouri and I kept being confused about it being legal to drink on the street and as to why it seemed like so many more people drank overall. I also was astonished when I saw hard liquor in a convenience store. This is comparable to the law in Britain, with some limits in how drunk you can be in public before you're considered a nuisance. If this causes huge issues in Missouri it might be the American relationship with alcohol that's the main problem. Now I'm really mad at the new bartender girl that didn't let me walk off with my tank 7 like the other dudes always do. She insisted it was illegal, I was like. I have never had this issue in Mo before it's so similar to Louisiana. When my friends or I were in college we went to the Ozarks KCMO with some regularity. The second we passed the Mo state lines out of Nebraska party mode was on. By St. Joe's Gatorade bottles were being filled. Fun times, odd laws. I'm not sure about public intoxication laws, but hard alcohol can be bought in grocery stores in Illinois too. Also seen plenty of bars with to-go sales. I know North Dakota doesn't have public intoxication laws as well. Where I live downtown is considered a social space and you can carry an open container of alcohol around. It's crazy. I bought a margarita after work last week and was just walking around downtown with it. No one cared. That explains the rough and freeways in Kansas City. Twice I got screwed, once during rush hour, and he again in the middle of the goddamn night, at the same friggin' interchange. F you Kansas City over, sorry. I grew up on the MS Gulf Coast, and along the beach we had in the 1980s drive through bars because there was no open container law. The driver couldn't be drunk, but the driver could drink while driving. Louisiana is like this. You can buy a liquor pretty much anywhere at almost any time. There's one gas station near me that has a liquor store, video poker and a drive through daiquiri store all in one. I've never understood the open container law. You can drink to a brink of drunkenness and then get in a car and legally drive. However, you can drink a beer while driving home from work. Living in a place founded by Puritans this sounds amazing. Basically you're only breaking the law if you are a shithead drunk. For the rest of us, our freedoms shouldn't be infringed. I love that. They really just don't care. Louisiana was the last state to raise their drinking age to 21, and that was only because the federal government cut off highway funds. Honest at a problem? Does Missouri have significantly higher levels of drunk driving, or other public issues that tie back to the ease of access for alcohol? Reading this as a European and smiling. Yeah, well welcome to our world. Admittedly, being able to buy alcohol from a bar as if it were a shop is a new one to me. In WA state you can openly smoke fentanyl or crack on the street without any repercussions but god forbid you have a shift drink after 2am and LCB sees you. I don't think it's just Missouri. It's the same in Iowa as well. It'd have to double check everything you said. But, I'm pretty sure. I work in y'all, live in MN. Sounds like the way it should be. In Nevada we have pretty loose laws but you still can't drink downtown on the streets between bars only in Vegas really. As a Filipino who aspires living in the United States, I like the idea of living in Missouri because of their loosest alcohol laws and his easiest bar exam. I always find the gas station grocery store such a weird one that people are surprised. Having them separate is just creating an inconvenience at best. My hometown, in central Missouri had maybe still has a bar where they sell alcohol ox slushies and all sorts of flavors. They have had a drive through. Well, the state is nearly completely flat and I'm pretty sure it has more cows than people. What the fuck else are you supposed to do? I didn't know America law on alcohol are so strict till I start watching Law Order. Where I live you can buy etc and 7-Eleven. Was in rural Missouri years ago, went into a gas station convenience store. They had booze bullets and porn for sale in the open. Always fun when students from the US come to the UK on exchanges, legal drinking begins at 18 here boy do they go for it. Half of the title is totally normal in Europe. Actually all except the open containers and cars, that is a no-no in Ireland. Can confirm? 
moved from Missouri to Utah and it was like stepping back in time to prohibition obviously an exaggeration. The funny thing is Kansas had some of the strictest laws. So a lot of confusion happens in KC Kansas, KC Missouri. Are used to not have open container laws, but you will get fucked with if you get pulled over with an open container. Open container in a car if not being drank by driver actually seems perfectly acceptable. It just looks bad. It's also the only state where you can legally make up to 200 gallons of moonshine per year for personal use. Meanwhile in Germany where you can legally drink a beer while driving, assuming you stay below 0,5, Germany, Germany, Germany. Seems any sort of reason or good sense left that state a while ago. Now apparently, graft and cruelty rule. Hard liquor can be sold in grocery stores and gas stations. Many states allow this including California. What's the problem with selling hard liquor in grocery stores? Better than going to a seedy liquor store. Honest question, where would you even buy liquor if it's not from a grocery store, gas station, or a bar? I was shocked when I moved and they could only sell beer and wine at the grocery store. Super weird. WTF, how are the laws elsewhere in the land of freedom, this is normal for European countries. How does the alcoholism, and drunk driving deaths compare to states like Michigan? and Wisconsin. And they sell on Sundays. Was awesome going to college a few miles from the Missouri state line. And now you can smoke weed there too and we all know what weed does to alcohol drinkers, collision, alien, collision. I'm sure they blame the libs. When your state is run by republicans, you blame everyone else, 